put your listening skill to the test. Are you ready for the challenge, students? I'm about to tell you a story. In that story, I will be making use of the five words I told you previously. Bewildered, infuriate, content, ecstatic and extol. I will make use of these five words somewhere in the story. You have to find the five sentences in which I make use of these five words. At the end of this video, I will tell you the five sentences in which I would have used those five words. Now, if you get all the five sentences right, your listening skill is top notch. Let's come to an agreement, my dear friends. You should not listen to the story a second time. You should listen to the story only once so that we can check how good your listening skill is. Let's get into the story. Once upon a time, there lived a king. The king lived a happy and peaceful life. He had two parrots which he raised with love and affection. One day, while sitting in the garden, he noticed birds flying in the sky. This kindled a desire in him. He wanted to see his parrots fly in the sky. He called for the parrot tamers in his kingdom and ordered them to make his parrots fly. The next day, he felt ecstatic on seeing one of his parrots flying in the sky. He wondered what would have happened to the other parrot. The parrot tamers tried everything they could to make the second parrot fly, but the second parrot did not fly. They were bewildered, not knowing why the parrot refused to fly. They took this information to the king. This news infuriated the king. He was discontented with the performance of the parrot tamers. So he gave away an announcement. As per that announcement, whoever made that parrot fly would receive 1000 gold coins. This announcement reached everywhere in his kingdom. A farmer who came from the neighboring kingdom listened to this announcement. He asked the king whether he could try making the parrot fly. Upon getting the green light from the king, he went to the garden. The next morning, to the king's surprise, he saw both his parrots flying in the sky. He called for the farmer and asked what he did. The farmer said, as soon as I went to the garden, I asked the gardener what the parrot would do as soon as it came out of the cage. The gardener said the parrot would always sit on a branch in a tree and it did not move from there. I understood that the parrot felt comfortable sitting on the tree branch. So I cut the branch down. When the branch was about to fall to the ground, the parrot realized it would die if it did not do something quickly. So it flapped its wings and took off to the sky. On hearing this, the king was pleased. He extolled the farmer for his startling idea and offered him thousand gold coins. That is how both parrots took off to the sky. Now friends, we and the second parrot are similar. We are comfortable with our mother tongue so that we don't try speaking or learning another language as the second parrot was comfortable sitting on the branch. We have to come out of the comfort zone so that we can learn as many languages as possible. Only when you have many languages under your belt, you can explore this world and earn name for yourself. You can reach great heights if you have many languages at your disposal. So friends, let us learn many languages as possible and improve our language skills.
subscribe to our channel for fun facts, lessons on English and tips for public speaking.